It's time now for look some local sports. We begin with the first round state playoff action held Tuesday afternoon at the Benny Radliff Arena. As our Lady Yellow Jackets hosted Stars Mill in round one, and Stars Mill wins the game by a final score of 45-27. Ladies of Stars Mill jumped out to a 10-point lead after the first quarter and led from start to finish. They advance and play Griffin, who defeated Bainbridge yesterday by a score of 62-17. Our Lady Jackets finished the season with 19 wins. Regular season championship as they finished 7-1 in the region. Had the number one C, but lost the region championship game to Burke. 37-36, they played Troop. There are other region teams lost yesterday. Tuesday, the Islands lost to Fayette County 56-41. And Southeast Bullock girls lost to Trinity Christian 88-52. It was a JV varsity doubleheader in Pierce County yesterday. Pierce wins both games. They win the JV game 2-zip, the varsity game 6-3. And the varsity game just three hits by both teams. Line scores for Pierce, six runs on three hits. Wayne County, three runs on three hits. Back-to-back doubles in the top of the seventh by Hadley Long and Tyler Walling. Jackets walked six batters, hit a batter, committed three errors in the infield. That led to all the runs for Pierce. Five of the six walked batters scored. Grayson Spell had a nice two innings of work and relief on the mound. Faced six batters, retired all six with several strikeouts. Jackets head to a tournament in Emerson, Georgia this weekend. They take on Loganville Friday night at 6 p.m. That Saturday they play Etowah at 10 and South Forsyth at 12.30. All three games can be heard right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Our JV baseball team lost 2-0 yesterday. To Pierce County, JV had just one hit in the game, that by Eli Grantham. Rowan Blanton started on the mound, pitched four innings, allowed just one hit, struck out five. Tate Altman threw the final two innings, allowed just one hit, struck out two. JV team back in action Thursday at home. They take on Glen Academy tomorrow at 6 p.m. Varsity soccer team's in action Tuesday at Atkinson. The varsity girls roll 10-zip. The boys lost a tough 1-0 match. The tennis team's down in Brunswick yesterday. The boys win 5-love. girls win 4-1. For the boys, Davin Frazier picked up his first varsity win with a score of 6-love, six 6-love. Six Gavin Orvin and Baylor Ray also won 6-love, six 6-love. Six Lane Deloach and Elliott Wilson doubles team won 6-love, six 6-1. Six at two singles, Court May won 6-1, six 6-1. One, six one. Corey Best won at number one single, 6-love, six 6-2. Six For the girls, Brinsley Williamson was leading 6-0, 1-0 when illness forced her to forfeit, giving us our only loss of the day. All of the girls' singles and doubles won 6-love, six 6-love. Six the Wayne County High School track season about to kick off this coming Saturday, and that'll be the topic coming up on the Butch and Bob Show. We've got Coach Tony Jones talking about the big event. It's the inaugural Helen Willis Fluker Track Invitational, Saturday, February 25th at 9 a.m. This inaugural event is being held at Wayne County's new track, located on the campus of Wayne County High School. Numerous teams in the state are registered for the event, which will include 17 track and field events for both men's and women. Medals and trophies will be given for the top finishers during the day-long event. Admission on Saturday will be $5. It will be used to support Wayne County Athletic Department. Concessions also will be available in the Helen Willis Fluker Invitational set for this Saturday at 9 a.m. at the new track. Wayne County Bass Fishing Team took six boats to the second GHSA State Qualifier Tournament over the weekend. Teams battled high winds, rain, and even 25-degree weather. Over 230 teams competed in the tournament with 159 weighing in fish. Teams of Hank Moriarty and Dalen Deloach, Ashton McDaniel, and Felipe Mendez Nick Beasley and Red Ammons, Joseph Long and Haddon Mixon, Trip Harvey and Tucker Charlton, J.B. Branch and Landon Taylor all battled the wild weather for two days. Of the 159 teams that weighed in fish, Harvey and Shelfin finished with a weight of 5.1 pounds. That placed them 83rd. Branch and Taylor finished with a weight of 4.7 pounds. That placed them 97. Other four teams did not weigh in. Fishing Lake Oconee was a first for a lot of their anglers. The weather made it tough, but these teams battled hard for and fish through it. This was the second of four qualifying tournaments in March. They will travel to LaGrange to fish West Point Lake. Varsity golf team gets their season underway this Saturday. They'll be at Osprey Cove. That Camden Classic gets underway Saturday at 8 a.m. Again, a very talented golf team once again for Wayne County. The Pine Forest Country Club Men's Golf Association look for entries into the Winter Blues Golf Tournament set for Saturday, March the 4th. It's a three-person scramble, best ball, alternating shot, 27-hole, one-day event, 8.30 a.m. shotgun start, 3.30 per team. No mulligans in the tournament. Close-up prizes on par threes. Fried chicken lunch will be provided. Cash prizes are winners in each of the categories. If you need more information or to sign up, call the Pro Shop at 912-427-6505. Again, the annual Winter Blues Golf Tournament set for Saturday, March the 4th at the Pine Forest Country Club. Finally in sports, Two-time national champion Georgia Bulldogs still waiting that invitation to the White House, but as of today, no invitation has come. Georgia players know once spring practice begins, Kirby Smart will not allow any more celebrations. 
In January, Georgia's congressional leadership sent a letter to the White House requesting that the White House invite the Dodds and honor their back-to-back titles. The bipartisan group wrote, quote, It's our hope that this repeat championship team can join the many teams prior that have been honored by the President of the United States, end quote. Now some strategists say it's time to turn up the pressure. They said it would be smart politics for the congressional leaders from Georgia to once again publicly call for a White House reception for the Bulldogs. The White House has not responded to the request at this time. Recently, the White House honored the Golden State Warriors in basketball in the Atlanta Brace in baseball. Dogs hoping to be recognized. Some say the invite must have got lost in the mail. And we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.